ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your special guest referee, the world heavyweight champion, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels involved in a great world heavyweight title defense against Rob Van Dam here last week before it was interrupted by Triple H. But Michaels will be at Armageddon in less than two weeks in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on pay-per-view. Yeah, but who will he face? Will it be Rob Van Dam or Triple H? The following contest is set for one fall, and it is to determine the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, being accompanied by Ric Flair, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 252 pounds, Triple H. Triple H has to pin Bob Van Dam or make him submit. If the game gets disqualified for violating the rules, Rob Van Dam goes to Armageddon to meet Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, that's right, Cole, but Shawn Michaels has to call this thing right down the middle. If he does, he could be stripped of the title right here tonight. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. It was three months ago tonight on September 2nd that Triple H was awarded the World Heavyweight Championship by Eric Bischoff. On that same night, Triple H lost a tag team match and was pinned by none other than Rob Van Dam. It could be fake, King. Well, Rob Van Dam has been so close to being world champion on so many occasions, it's not even funny. back, I didn't think Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE, but he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah. I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the World Heavyweight title, but he did. And I didn't think he could win it, but he believed and went on to become World Heavyweight Champion. Well, what's your point, Cole? Shawn Michaels has overcome so much, not just to return to the ring, but to become World Heavyweight Champion. Neither individual is going to back down here. He's got 
got him. Great move. Oh, tomorrow marks the 11th anniversary of Hulk Hogan defeating Undertaker for the WWE Championship at the Tuesday in Texas pay-per-view. Now that's relevant here, folks, because the controversy surrounding that win led to then WWE President Jack Tunney vacating the title, which was then won by none other than Ric Flair. Oh, man. 11 years later, and the Nature Boy is still a major force in the championship picture. This time, alongside the game, Triple H. And, of course, Flair's win came at the 1992 Royal Rumble. It marked his first of two memorable WWE Championship reigns for the Nature Boy. Man, this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the gold. This past Thursday in New York City, WWE superstars took part in the famed Thanksgiving Day Parade. Among those on the WWE float were Mr. McMahon, Sergeant Slaughter, and the man in the ring right now, Triple H. Oh, sports entertainment has such a rich history with the Thanksgiving holiday. Of course, the first several Survivor Series pay-per-views took place on Thanksgiving. You were on the float once. I know. And let's not forget that the historic rivalry between Harley Race and the man that accompanied Triple H in the ring tonight, Ric Flair, reached its climax at Starcade on Thanksgiving night in 1983. Oh, I'll never forget it. So many all-time greats were on that card. Ricky Steamboat, Roddy Piper, Greg Valentine, Kevin Sullivan, Abdullah the Butcher, Jack and Jerry Briscoe. I mean, the list goes on and on. Big impact into the guardrail. With a 180, Rob Van Dam the reversal. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. And again, sent out of the ring. I don't know how Shawn Michaels is going to be impartial here tonight after what Triple H did to him last week with that backbreaker onto the steel chair. Oh, I agree, Cole. Michaels could snap at any moment and cost himself in a huge collision with the barricade. And this is going to return to the ring. In recent weeks, King, we've seen some type of relationship forming between Ric Flair and Batista. What do you make of it? Well, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Flair essentially told Batista earlier tonight that he hadn't seen anybody with as much potential as he has in a long, long time. And moments later, Batista went on to make quick work of the hurricane. Well, you gotta wonder what Batista could become under the tutelage of Ric Flair and potentially even the Nature Boy's best friend, Triple H. And we're going back between the ropes. Oh, he's the guy that's opponent, and what's he going for here? Rob Van Dam continues to punish his opponent. Great offense by Rob Van Dam. He's not too keen on sharing the ring with his opponent. The animosity between Triple H and Shawn Michaels is well documented. But let's not forget that Rob Van Dam was also in that Elimination Chamber match that Shawn Michaels won at Survivor Series. Could there be any lingering animosity between RVD and HBK here tonight, King? I don't think so, Cole. Unfortunately for Rob Van Dam, he was eliminated from the match by the time Michaels entered. If there's any animosity on RVD's part, it would just be sour grapes. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Oh, and it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? You know, it seems as though both Rob Van Dam and Shawn Michaels have had Triple H's number of late. I think it's equal. What a completely unbelievable move by Rob Van Dam. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming a mile away. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there.
This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. and getting it put on him. Wow, Van Dam. Now back to the ring. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. And he gets escorted back through the ropes. Man, Triple H, what offense. It will... Triple H with the cover on Rob Van Dam, and there's Shawn Michaels, and oh man, Triple H is not going to like that, King. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> the game is living. And now Rob hey, Van Dam is rolling up Triple H, and Whoa. oh! <laughs> a really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. VD avoiding danger there. And yeah, that could have been really bad for Van Damme. And he's heading back in. Oh, man, and I can guarantee he'll think twice about doing that again. Oh, look at RVD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big shoulder oh, block. Right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with the close up. Oh, they both duck. And now RVD. HBK! Woo a jumping corner splash! Now what? Oh, Rob Van Dam is going up yet again! Watch it! What a move! Triple H tried to ruin a man's life. He attacked Shawn Michaels with a sledgehammer. He tried to put him in a wheelchair. Look, forget about all those things that happened in the past. Let's talk about tonight. We have a great match going on in the ring. Please, King, are you telling me that Shawn Michaels has no reason to be upset with Triple H? If you ask me, it's pretty easy for Michaels to hold a grudge after what the game did to him. Oh, and did you hear the impact? And Rob Van Dam is on very wobbly legs. Sure didn't win the fight. 